Hello there, you're welcome to this tutorial video and right here I'm going to explain to you how you're going to navigate through the application settings of WebEx. Alright, so for the first session you have the opportunity to adjust the profile, alright. Under your profile settings you can change image, alright, and you click on change image right here. Pick your image and then click on open and right here you're going to see your image, alright. And now here you can change your password, alright. You have to input the old password right here and then you enter your new password then you confirm the new password right here and after doing that you click on save changes right after that you still have the auto responders we have aweba we have mailchimp and get response right in order to connect your aweba you have to click on connect and then you input your details and have your aweba account connected to your webex account and the same thing goes with MailChimp and at the same time you can do the same for GetResponse if you are using GetResponse as your autoresponder. Alright, that's that. And also we have the payment gateway right here which is very, very important. Alright, now for the payment gateway settings you have to follow about six steps, alright, which is very straightforward for your PayPal. Alright, we have the PayPal right here and for you to get your Stripe Publishable Key, all right? We have the um, details right here, the steps right here. And now for you to get your PayPal key, you have to step one, click here to log into PayPal Developers Dashboard. And step two is you toggle on the live button in your dashboard. Step three, click on select my app and credentials. Then step four, create an app. Step five, copy your client ID key and paste it here, all right, right here. And step six, you save the key. Now, the first one, click here to log in. All right, when you click here, you'll be taken right here. And this is how your dashboard actually looks, all right? And step two says you should toggle to live. Click on this, all right, to toggle to live. Then step three says click on select my app and credentials. You see, it's actually very straightforward. Once you're able to toggle on the live button, you'll be able to select my app and credentials be able to create an app you know just type the name of the app which is webex right then you copy your client id key and paste the id key right here all right and once that is done you click on save key click on save key right here and you see payment gateway updated successfully that's it and the same thing for your stripe publishable key right here you have to follow just these steps now the first step is to click here to log into stripe all right if you are using stripe you log into your stripe then you click on developer then you click on api key and then you copy your publishable key so once you copy it you come right here you paste the publishable key right here all right then you copy your secret key as well and paste it right here then once that is done and you click on save key right here all right and you see payment gateway updated successfully so that's it about your payment gateway now we also have the analytics settings right here you just have to enter your google analytics tracking id once you copy your tracking id you enter the valid tracking id right here and you click on save all right now if you're having any problem all right finding your tracking id you click here to know more right and when you click here you'll be taken right here and you have the chance to understand how everything is done if you want to create a new analytics account you can do that right here right and you can actually reach out to their support right you can see let's chat it's very simple and straightforward once you have your tracking id you click right here and input your tracking id and you see google analytics updated successfully so that's it it's very simple and straightforward your settings is actually ready and this is how to navigate your application settings thank you very much so see you again in the next video.